Okay, this is the sixth and final section of the Poisson distribution uh, chapter. And uh, what we're going to be doing is using the Poisson distribution to approximate the binomial distribution. Now, quite often when we do these approximations, um, it goes back to a time where tables, uh, when we use tables to find the probabilities, they only went up to a certain uh, number of values. So, for example, with the binomial, um, n only went up to 50. And if you know, if you had a question where n was greater than 50, you would have to um, uh, then approximate a binomial distribution either with a Poisson distribution or a normal distribution depending on its values but it's still useful to do it in some circumstances where you use one distribution to approximate another okay even though we can really work out these things on on calculators and computers quite easily so if we have a case where I've got a binomial distribution okay so here's my binomial distribution with n and p and let's say that um, n is large n is large now what I mean by that really is that it's greater than 50 yeah that's what we consider large with binomial and p is close to zero okay so we we call it small if p is small then we can approximate the binomial distribution with a Poisson distribution. Now, if we're going to do that, we need to know what we're going to use in the place of lambda. And in the place of lambda, that's the mean, and we know how to work out the mean, n times p. So we'll start with something like this. X is a binomial distribution with n and p. And we're going to work, it, work out what it is approximately with a Poisson distribution with lambda there. And that comes from this n times p. But only really if this n is greater than 50. Uh, in greater than 50, large, and p is close, or it, uh, is small. Okay, so close to zero. Obviously not zero, close to zero. Right, let's try some questions. The random variable x, where um, x is a binomial distribution where n is 200, p is 0 by 0 3, find the probability that x equals 4. So in part a, I'm going to work out what it is exactly using my calculator. So I'm not approximating anything yet because it hasn't asked me to. Now in the past, you wouldn't have been able to do this question without an approximation because you wouldn't the table doesn't go up to n equals 200 but now we can work it out exactly using the power of calculators and um, find an answer so we're going to do menu 7 scroll down and do uh, now we don't need to scroll down because we're doing binomial binomial pd for 2 for variable x is 4, n is 200, p is 0 0.03, and we get an answer of 0 0.1338. So this is four decimal places, rounded correctly. All right, what does it say just before part b? A Poisson variable. Um, is used to approximate x, write down the value of lambda and justify the use of a process uh, approximation uh, in this case. So if you write down the value of lambda, lambda is equal to n times p 
that means lambda is 200 times 0.03 which gives us lambda equal to um, so either going to be 6 or 60 I think it's going to be 6 isn't it if you do 220 0.6 yeah it's going to be 6 and can we justify it um, we can approximate since n is large okay well it's greater than 50 and p is close or p is small yeah so they're the, the things that that's small and the other thing is large that should justify it. that's what we're looking for part c find the probability of y equals 4 and comment on the accuracy of this approximation right so now um, with our Poisson distribution with lambda as 6 we are going to work out the probability that x is 4 so if you press the OPTN button, the option button under shift, select one, and then go to Poisson PD number two and variable. So X is going to be four, lambda is going to be six, and I get to four decimal places 0 0.1338. Uh, well, one point if I round it. Because it's a five after the eight. That's a nine. Okay. Comment on the accuracy. Okay. Um, I could say that the approximation approximation is correct to well, it's correct to three decimal places. That's not bad actually uh, for an approximation. So yeah, I think it's a pretty decent approximation uh, given the values right the probability of a component produced by a certain machine being faulty is 0 0.007 the number of 40 components producing a batch of a thousand components is noticed noted part a find the probability that exactly six components are 14 okay so x is going to be number of uh, 40 components in a batch of a thousand so this is going to be a binomial distribution because we've got a fixed batch sample size trial of a thousand and a fixed probability of success that is being a failure or being faulty as that and we want to find the probability that there are exactly six of them right so this is a calculator job this is going to be binomial pd and variable x is 6 n is a thousand p is 0 0.007 okay so that gives us 0 0.1494 if I round it to four decimal places part b Use a Poisson approximation to find a probability that more than seven components are faulty. Right. Can we use Poisson? Yes. N is big and P is small. So our, pro, uh, our Poisson approximation. Um, so Y is going to be the, like, the basic the same as before. A number of 40 components in a batch of a thousand. So I'll just put here same as x well i shouldn't really 
that's deceptive. I don't want to deceive you. Let's call that number of 40 components in a batch of a thousand. So Y will be a Poisson distribution and this is going to be from N times P. So that's, um, I think that's going to be seven. So times by 10, 100, 1000, yeah, it's going to be seven. So this came from doing N times P, which is 1000 times by 0 0.007, if you were wondering where they came from. Uh, right, and um, yeah, just like last time, we want to find the probability. Well, no, it's a different one this time. Um, the probability that there's more than seven components, so that y is greater than seven. So that's the same as the probability that y, if it's greater than seven, it has to be greater than or equal to eight. So that's going to be one minus the probability that y is less than or equal to seven. So one minus. So let's um, use our calculators and go to Poisson CD. Uh, variable X is seven and Lambda is also seven. And that's going to be one minus uh, 0. 5987. So to get the exact answer, I'm going to go menu and one and do one minus answer and get uh, 0.4013. Okay, 4DP. Explain why, or in part C, explain why the approximation is valid. A in part B, uh, because, and I was always told at school, don't start a sentence with because, but I'm going to, because N is large, it's greater than 50, and P is small, and it's actually 0 0.007. And if we wanted to, we could um, maybe uh look at the uh the exact value can compare the two right exercise 2g on pages 36 to 38 which is uh, uh what you need to do so uh, just a summary we've got binomial distribution we've got nmp we want to approximate it using a Poisson distribution this will be n times p here, uh, but we can only do this if n is large, that is greater than 50, and p is small, close to zero. And um, the other thing you might need, they might ask you about the percentage error. Now the percentage error is going to be the difference between difference between exact and approximation. So the difference between your exact answer and your approximation divided by the exact value. So in this case, you're gonna get the exact value from the binomial distribution times by 100. And that will give you the percentage error. Obviously, you'll need to work out, um, when you work out the difference between the exact and the approximate, it might be exact minus approximate or approximate minus exact, but you wanna get a, a positive answer, so it'll depend on the question, but divide that by the exact answer. That's what you get from the binomial um, uh, part of the question, times that by 100% and you get a percentage error.